Hey guys, can you hear me? It's me, yeah. Billy Wayne Davis. <laughs> You're like, who is? Who are you? Why are you talking? You've heard my voice. <laughs> You've heard it. It's all over the show. I just do different versions of it because I grew up. This season, I'm a consulting producer. Suck on that. Yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> That means I went and I consulted with everybody top to bottom on the show about I had to do animation. I did noises. They did not like it that I called them that. So <laughs> that's and then they tried to put annoying producer, but my manager is decent. So he had it changed. So, you guys no, thanks for being here virtually. Uh I'm Billy Wayne Davis. I'm mostly a stand-up comedian, and then I sound like this, and they were like, you're perfect. And I was like, thank you. Um, uh, so they also asked me to moderate this because I am i don't get easily embarrassed. So I was like, yeah, that sounds perfect. And mostly you guys that are watching this are like, move this along. And I'm like, I get it too. I don't want to hear from me either. <laughs> I just do what they tell me. This is like how the show works. It's like they're like, hey, do this. And I'm like, perfect. And then <laughs> and then I move along and stay out of their way, which is like just calm down. That's what this is gonna be. I uh I also can fly with my ears. So I don't know if you guys I don't know. You're not easily impressed here at Adult Swim, but that's not, that's a human doing that. That's not a Pokemon or a cartoon. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's a true hillbilly because there's nothing to do in the hills. We just trained our ears. You guys, I'm going to introduce the head honchos here. At they at they said say anything you want, and I was like, that's a terrible mistake. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> but let's introduce uh, uh first of all dave willis uh you guys know and love and then mr jim four t ear i said it like it's spelled <laughs> in the thing just to be a dad oh how are you guys doing uh, please talk they had me talking for so Dude, long by myself how did you learn to train your ears to do that is that like a hunting thing like up in a deer stand like if you see a deer <laughs> somewhere you just wiggle an ear it is well. It's I learned to do it with my toes because if you don't do that, your toes fall off in a deer stand. So and then <laughs> it was my ears just kind of were like, "Hey, that's we're we're cold too." So I said, "Let's just keep doing it." That's, I didn't understand hunting till my sec, you know, till I got married the second time. And I was like, "Oh, it's quiet. I got it." <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to shoot anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you come up here and uh, you drink about seventeen beers, and then you <laughs> and you fire wildly at your brother-in-law, and then go home. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to argue in front of the ladies. That is, yes, that is. <laughs> yeah, it's different than you thought it was when you were younger. You're like, yes. oh, this is not hunting. This is settling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, well, um, you guys, you did it. You had the you did the show. Yeah, yeah, we we did the show. It's it's over. We didn't. Well, it's not quite over yet. I guess we got uh, four more weeks, right? Yes, Why am I asking you? We should know. I, I, I panicked for a second. I don't know. Were you not prepped for this? Oh man. This is probably you never know what I'm supposed to know. <laughs> this is probably the appropriate time to let all of you cast members know that this is it. That this, season, <laughs> this is the last season. <laughs> so sorry. No. Uh, no. Um so I I saw Billy Wayne uh perform Billy Wayne opens up for Sturgill Simpson. Who is doing a doing a theme this year? He, he was our like uh, white whale, our like uh, Moby Dick. We finally landed him. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I even helped. So, <laughs> so but I, I heard, understand what you're talking about. Like that's how he he just shows up when he decides to show up, and you're like, you're like, hey, there it is. That's that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I heard Billy Wayne uh, open up, and I was like, yeah. That guy doesn't sound like he's um, educated. We we should definitely get him in the show. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. That's perfect. My my friend described me recently. He's like, you look like you row crew in the uh, in the Ivy League, and then you talk, and people are like, what in the hell? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> no, I know that look. Yeah. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, Billy plays uh, Bobby, the the manager of the a ball mart who is finally getting sort of figured out this season, just too late. <laughs> I mean, we should have figured it out <laughs> a couple that's of seasons ago. I'm You're finally little, rounding I'm into okay a personality. That. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's my mom's proud of that. Actually. She's finally figured it out. Mm -hmm. It's just fun to be a part of the show. You guys, I it's like, like anyone watching this, but to get all sentimental about it, but it is, Especially as a Southern person, I got, I fell in love with, I was living in Seattle and I think that's when I first saw it and was like, oh, these, this is, it was like seeing David Cross for the first time, make fun of like people I made fun of in, in growing up. So that's what I, it, it was like, oh, these guys that, thank God. I'm, it was like, I, I'm not on an island and that's what the whole thing <laughs> made me and then to like you know years later get to be a part of it is like i get you know i get all like hey that's super cool so i felt like i made some of the right decisions so and yeah. here i am being sweet yeah and then we then we <laughs> uh then we cast a bronx born and bred comedian to uh play the lead you know to be authentic about it <laughs> <laughs> well i mean that's if we're being honest like i was just in humboldt county last week and i've been there quite a bit for a bunch of different reasons and that's what i realized there is like it's just hillbillies out there next to the ocean and i was like oh you guys have it a little better than we do this is so that's i think why it resonates all over the country is that it's like there's hillbillies everywhere. And like, even in New York, like I lived there briefly and there's certain boroughs you go in and you're like, Oh, there's a code here. I understand. Um, it's the same, I think. And that's why, you know, he's from the Bronx. That's why it works. I don't know if you've ever been to the Bronx, but you need to know where you're at the same as the mountain. But Billy, some people would argue that it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I know they found me on. <laughs> I know it's weird though that they're following us, <laughs> and yet they so vehemently disagree. Uh, I lo I just love the guy that Billy was talking to, who he he worked through his anger and confusion via Twitter therapy, and the guy wound up with like, it just isn't for me, but I'll still watch. <laughs> it's like that's all we want. That's all we want ever with the show. It may not that's, be for you, but just turn it on. And that's what, and he, and I did, I asked him a couple, yeah, that was a fun one where I was like, now why? It was like, I did what my toddler's been doing to me. Now why? And you're like, I don't want to get into this with you. Why? <laughs> just, <laughs> so I'm getting yelled at. I have to, yes, we can start doing, I'm doing my job good. So we have to, uh, I'm going to, I have to move it along. In. <laughs> oh, it keeps getting. If, if words could, if words could yell, that's what they're doing right now. Um, we have to do the supercut. I have, guys, this is the supercut into to Granny. It's she's. Come on, just sit back and take it in, guys. A hero, vision, and lavender. It's a full body Port wine stain. But thank you for noticing. Is that a Griffin? Griffin meets good meat. What I lack in balcony, I more than make up for in caboose. Okay. I don't want to be on this cruise, Daddy. There you go. I want to be on the Disney cruise with Doofy and Marty Mouse. <laughs> you got to build up your core, and then you can do this. <laughs> Wanna see my dang -a No, no. Whoa, helicopter! Woo, woo! We take a Velcro tab A, and we gonna put it on Velcro tab B, and yay! I have the confidence to date again. <laughs> Guys, please welcome the voice of Granny, the one and only Dana Snyder. Each clip 
more disturbing than the last one. <laughs> now, what a journey she's made from the first episode of trying to hump some type of carcass to now uh, swinging her tentacles at Walmart. It's a journey of growth, acceptance. Very proud of it. It's probably the most proud thing I've ever done. She is a masterpiece, in my opinion. It's did she come from like, did you know a lady where you're like, I think I know who this lady is? <laughs> I think we all know some lady who's kind of like that. You know, though, my mother, I, my mother thinks that uh granny is based on my grandmother, her mother. <laughs> and uh oh. she they tell like anybody who comes to work on the house, an electrician or uh, like it's based on my mother, and I, I tell my mom, he's like, you don't understand. Granny is like, our granny, Squidbilly's granny is constantly down to fuck. And <laughs> yeah. that's not how I want to choose to remember yeah. my grandmother. Your mom needs to either watch more episodes of Squidbilly's <laughs> or stop telling people that. But ultimately, maybe both. Right now, she's, she's texting me saying, I just... I just watched that super. That what, what's that clip of? That's not Granny at all. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah. It's like you're. Are you watching the show? Like, no, I'm telling you something, son. That is, that's something. That is, yeah. I don't remember what Granny did in the very first episode, but my mom and my dad and my maybe fiance or she was. I don't know if we remember if we were married. All watched it, and then stunned silence afterwards from my mother and my wife. Like, well, that was very interesting. Just thought, okay, all right. That's every Thanksgiving at my house, man. Why don't you show everybody what you're working on? And then the conversation quickly envelops the show after two or three minutes. <laughs> well, I bet there's just something about where we all kind of grew up and came from about, and then you're just like, you know, we make weird cartoons and people are like, well, how? And you're like, ah, it's, if I told you, you would just get madder and madder. <laughs> I, th- I, I don't know about y'all, but the, the one I always get is, so do you draw the cartoons? And they do like, they do a vigil, like, yeah. like they're asking a waitress yeah. To sign the check, like, do you draw the cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> or they're saying everything was great. Oh no, everything was perfect tonight. Yeah, you're doing great up there. <laughs> and that is not what that means anymore, thank you. <laughs> no. no? no. Get out. Um, What's this uh, mean then? <laughs> yeah, I was at the Apple store where we used to get a discount because of the company affiliation, and uh, the, the woman at the desk was like, what? Oh, well, you work at Warner Media, yeah. What? Where do you work? Oh, I. I you just don't say the name of the show because they're not going to understand. They're not going to have seen it. <laughs> they said, "I just work at Adult Swim." Oh my God, Adult Swim! I, I love Adult Swim. <laughs> what show do you do? And I go, uh, "It's called Squid Billies." And she goes, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> so not Rick like, and Morty. <laughs> no, this was <laughs> this was in the. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, they do robot chicken too, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. I still got my six percent. It, it always used to be robot chicken or Family Guy. Yeah, I love well, Family Guy. We uh, <laughs> we we did a convention once in town, Dragon Con, and and everybody filled the seats. And and one of the first questions was a guy who just was like, "I'm only here to hold a seat for the Venture Brothers panel, or the Venture Brothers guys coming." They're like, uh, "Sure, I Leave. don't know." Um, You're out. <laughs> We, uh, um, my dad would will wear all those T-shirts, all the swag that we get over of over the years, all the merch we've ever made. He'll wear them out publicly, and if ever he sees someone with a tattoo, he'll approach them and talk to them about squid bills because <laughs> he thinks that that's our demo, you know. Uh, and uh, you seem weird- to make bad life choices. <laughs> I should ask him to see if you know squid bills. <laughs> and one time, Dad, I was like. We were, I was coaching like little league soccer. My dad, I see him amble over across the field. I was like, <laughs> God damn it. He sees somebody with a beard or a tattoo and he's talking to the guy and he's like, uh, do you like squibblies? And I'm like, dad, that actually is 
bass player for Leonard Skinner, Johnny Colt. <laughs> You're talking to about squid billies. <laughs> He's, at, well, all, he's got good taste. Let, yeah, well, it all ended. Man is, come on. It, it ended well because Skinner ended up doing the theme, but uh, but it was like, it's pretty, because he's very tatted up. <laughs> so he's like, that he must not, really like squid billies. <laughs> <laughs> no, he likes drugs, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Which also helps with the show, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, I'm getting, I'm getting yelled at again. Okay, you guys, here is a super duper cut of Ooh. Rusty. Here it is. By day, he is Rusty Kyler, humble deli worker, framed. Well, not framed, but definitely fired unjustly for popping whiteheads on the salad bar sneeze guard. I didn't do that, it was Daryl! Woohoo! Yeah! Get me up now! Yeah! Dropping dope beats while I'm slicing thin meats. Oh, damn, here's a Black Forest ham. Wow, nice and goblin to... Yeah, give us some money. I broke a damn tooth. How'd she do this? Ah! Seems risky to say this since you're in a mood, but how'd you learn to rip throats out? Oh! Please don't be ah! there. Ah! I'm ready to die. Oh! Oh! Ah! I mean, that's art. That's real there art. It you is. guys give it up. Hey, y'all. Hey, I'll drive that thing. Come on now. Rusty's here. <laughs> Daniel McGivitt. It says Christy McGivitt on the thing, but don't look at that, you guys. Uh, my wife, who's standing in the corner watching me from the doorway right now to make sure that I do things properly. Say, hey, Christy. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Could you tell everyone what you also do? I didn't tell everyone what I also do. Could you? I uh, I fly airplanes. That's what I do primarily for a big airline in the local region. Are you saying we don't pay you enough to just do rusty for a living? <laughs> That's what I can say. Yes, that there is what it is. Yes. So I, I do that on the side. And uh, <laughs> the main job is Squid Billies, and that airline thing is the side job. That is. <laughs> like Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, so is Daniel, he who, who you were talking about having trouble with the recording over quarantine because he's doing it from the cockpit? <laughs> I, was, I was told that I, I had the, the best recording. Uh, you know, we, I expected to have to redo it, but I just went in our closet. We have lots of clothes piled up. That's sound deadening, right? I was wearing underwear and a T-shirt, and I just jumped into the, to the pile of clothes. Stuck a microphone in the middle and it worked. I Did you explain why you're wearing underwear though? Like what? Like why just underwear? <laughs> Nobody knew why that was necessary. <laughs> Everybody wearing underwear. Well, he's not going to do it nude. That's just <laughs> yeah, disgusting. Weird. Come on. Come on. A selfie of me looking at my shoulder and there's my underwear and my legs and then Dave posted it on. <laughs> that, that picture still makes me crack up every time I think <laughs> your body's just, in a strangely <laughs> unnatural contorted shape. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still using what price thing. art. I moved from one one closet to another. My wife Christy took one of our closets, dedicated it to. Uh, she spread foam around it and made it really nice. And there's a shelf and there's a microphone, but. You get in, you got to squeeze yourself in and shut the door behind yourself, and it's really sweaty and hot, hot in there. And so that's why you strip. That's why you strip down. You look like <laughs> you look like you had you look like you had climbed up to the shelf, like you weren't in the closet. You climbed up to top, like a little kid to hide somewhere. Yes. <laughs> and you had your body is only in here. the top third of the closet. Right. It's Everything like else. like you were at the top of your loft in college, you know, just. Squeezed in with foam and underwear. And you would <laughs> because <laughs> and Jim, Jim Garrett made in college, so dude, I jumped down from my loft one time in my whitey tidies to greet some ladies. Show it, show us, show us. He did it. He did it. Do it, Daniel. Stand up and do it. Oh, no. He's come on. <laughs> His girlfriend uh, and her friend were coming over, and I saw them, and I was like, Daniel, $10 if you just. Climb slowly. You got. You can't just jump out of the bed. You got to put the leg over, and you got to climb down like you're getting off a horse you with those underwear. I think I'm joking. I was. And then you got to walk. 
Do I'm it. Hear you. Do Who's it. the loom? Whitey tidy. I've seen it. Do it now. Do it now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You showed me this. It's very funny. Do it. Do it, please. The show would be blocked. He's not going to do it. His wife's standing oh, right in the corner. Christy, get him to do it. Christy wasn't here. I'd do it. But All right. Here. Daniel, what was the deal with your audition for this? Because you were not an actor. You were a guy we knew in high school and college and friend of ours forever. And Dave, what did Dave do to get you to, you know, I think he he met up with you. <clears throat> Tell us about that. It, it, it kind of took like a lot of, a lot of this to, uh, I was nervous about it. I, I wanted to do it, but I said, man, I don't know if I could do that. So I went over to Dave's house and I, I don't know why he has this closet, <laughs> a lot of alcohol next to it and why he said I should go in the closet. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm like Zed from Pulp Fiction. Let, let him tell the story, Dave. <laughs> don't try to change the narrative. That's what he had, a closet with a lot of alcohol and he shoved me in it and said, here, drink this, go in the closet and then say what I tell you to say. So maybe he gets off on that. I don't know. Can I ask a question? Were you in your underwear? In, this, in the closet. Did he offer a fresh pair for you? Is that why you know? <laughs> Put a new pair on. You're going to need it. Same ones I had in college. I wear those for any. <laughs> yes. No, so uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not so a hot. special voice actor. I wasn't at the time. And uh, he said, hey, we're doing this thing. It's called this. And I read these lines. And But I had to get really drunk first to uh, to make it, you know, to relax and try to make it more real. <laughs> The channel, just like, when, just channel like in Russie. the pilot's license thing, right? Yeah, just like in <laughs> <laughs> nerve wracking profession. <laughs> no, no, no. See, well, we grew up. Well, Jim, you're kind of like a Yankee, right? I mean, with Dave's, you grew up. I grew up in Conyers. I used to sound really badly like a, a redneck. So did David probably. If I listen to videos from me in the '80s, and I sound, I go, oh, it sounds awful. But somehow I suppressed that. But we have memories of what it sounded like, and I tried to recreate that, and I guess it worked. Well, well you, we, so you, you used to do a voice, right, to, <clears throat> to sort of mock people who would yell stuff at you. That's sort of where I thought. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's you're a, like you're like the defense hey, Dave, mechanism. Dave, I'll whoop your ass, Daniel. You, you kick your ass, boy. You look at me that way. Yeah, I said I have a mind <laughs> of parking my car in the Heritage High School parking lot, <laughs> walking in from the parking lot, and seeing a couple of these badass rednecks with all pumped up with their arms back and they're all puffed out ready to just start a fight and <laughs> the thing i remember dave and i talking about i, just, I felt like they were just a whole lot of hey hey man hey 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 what you talking about boy come on now come on <laughs> they're, they're doing a whole lot of posturing and hey, hey, come on hey, come on huh i don't know what the hell you're saying we didn't talk we didn't do anything but now you're puffed up and we're about to fight we didn't even discuss it <laughs> <laughs> I got very similar of all the 80 plus year old women at my high school who used to try and have sex with us when we were walking in. <laughs> I've had that experience. Yeah. You guys, I have to introduce the crystal supercut or they're going to fire me. So, hey. the, oh man, oh. she's so mad at me right now. This is fun. This is. <laughs> I miss having all your stringy green arms wrapped around my bosom, my, my front butt, my back butt, and my neck during them special times when I requested a choking. I had to shave my head because of you, dipshit. I shaved everything. The drapes, the shag carpet, and the throw rug. That's what I call my toe hair. Does this mean I'm in Al-Qaeda? Yes, it does. Now let's get you into town and sign you up for some Muslim extremist ISIS yoga classes. Wait, I want to take my scooter. No, no. Ain't no females allowed to drive. Come on, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're supposed to stay five paces behind me. <laughs> you guys, please yeah. welcome... Mary Craft, everybody. Hey, laughing at myself. Charming. Well, you should. It's it's so it's she's well. What's beautiful about her to me is like oh. she's not hiding anything, which is like a <laughs> <She> beautiful. <can't. laughs> I think there's something she's hiding, but <clears throat> it's a bicycle. Remember early. <laughs> And a twin. There was a twin in there, right? She did, twi- <laughs> she did have a twin. She did have a twin who played hide and seek. 
<laughs> it's like 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is like oh. an hour of disturbing memories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the grosser, the better. God, the grosser. Just, I mean, oh, I love her. I love her. <laughs> what is it? So tell us about the voice, Mary. Tell us about where, where you found it. I don't know exactly, except that, okay, I grew up in Savannah, Georgia. And I mean, you know, probably like you guys. Um, I mean, I think, I feel like I've known one of every person that's appeared in the show, you know, like at some point. And people who aren't, who don't live in the South think that this is like insane. It's too crazy over the top or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> it is not. No. It is not. <laughs> um, but, uh, I've known a crystal, but um, I used to have a character that I did named Snatch. <laughs> ah. I mean, the artistic portion of the panel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my career is just a series of great choices, but um, uh, it was sort of like Snatch, but just like she was having to push the air up through twin, like. 20 or 30 water balloons or something. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything is such a uh, hassle, you know, like, oh. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. So that's kind of just where it came from. I can't remember if you guys had a visual, like a drawing yet when I read I for it, or if you just said, this is what she look like, looks like. And it is exactly how you uh, describe <laughs> I think, it. <laughs> I think we were zeroing in on it. We were like, should she, would she have three stripes shaved in the side of her head? <laughs> right. Right. I remember if you talk, showed Maybe. me an actual picture <laughs> and then weird. that just like sort of <laughs> came out or if you just described her. That <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the story with her. I just remember the word chug nut coming out of your mouth. We we hadn't heard it. Yucky chug nut. I'm like that's her. <laughs> it is, I, I don't know where that came from, but um st- yeah. And when you add stupid in front of it, which is just such an ignorant insult, you know, just like st- oh, I love it. Stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> that's stupid, isn't it? Like you're stupid as an adult. That's very pre-K. <laughs> pre-K insult. Yeah, yeah, I called yeah. someone a dummy on a podcast once, and then I was like, "Hey, you gotta. Um, can you cut that out? Can you edit that out? I really don't want to be Seriously? calling somebody a dummy." <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, Dana was saying that Granny has had such a journey. From the first to the end, and like crystals, just man, still on the mattress. I mean, she lost all that weight. You know, <laughs> as everyone expected, she gained it right back, and she has not moved an inch, literally. Yeah, that was the just, episode where we she had she had a, such a gastric bypass that they just cut a hole in the back of her neck, so all the food just <laughs> falls out yeah. the back. Esophageal <laughs> bypass. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just shoves it in, and tying down this the skin flaps. Rusty Daniel, I had you. I I had my son tie down my my skin flap so I, I wouldn't nice catch them. <laughs> oh my god rolling up sails on a sailboat <laughs> you guys i gotta cut to to early super cut the love of oh so this yes. is oh secret guest <laughs> i'm exercising my freedom of speech i'm free to speech however i choose from now until the end of the show that's right, haters. Get used to it. Ten up. Woo! Yeah! I love these meat bags. You can see I'm a decorated vegetarian. You're welcome for my service, y'all. Dig this here. Uh, hell no, woman. You had your damn chance. Jiminy uh, uh, uh. Jiminy. Whip dibbity doo. Nay. Nay. What sounds do horses make? Uh, these samples are good. 
I might come back and buy something. I don't know. Oh, no. No. Earth. Woo! Hell yeah! Shampoo tastes gooder than hell, baby! Government overreach! Oh. <laughs> yeah, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, Tracy Morgan will not be joining us. Uh, <laughs> but oh. also, I just uh, it just occurred to me that maybe we should have done a Bobby uh, piece so that you wouldn't have to have explained... <laughs> That you do a voice at the beginning of the show. But next I time. Like, I admit I, it, there's no next time. We'll do it next year. They said I could do it next year, you guys. I'm, I'll tell yeah. you. Is that what they said? That's what they said I could do it next year. It's what, it'll it's, be fine. The schedule is going to be mailed with a check for this uh, work. I'm ex- it's, I'll get my call time and my check. I'm very excited. I... I <laughs> <laughs> I do like that people. It does bother people that that early is different, and uh, that I, I I tweeted that I was like, uh, is it is it is the show about talking squids too weird now that Tracy Morgan? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the Squidbillies fans have opinions. <laughs> And Twitter. Well, well, and you know Twitter. what? The ones who bother to type do, just like the ones who bother to type negative one star reviews on Amazon for a pop up tent. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't think you're hearing from the people who can just enjoy it. At least that's how I sleep at night. But also, you know what? We're not going to do the thing everybody wanted us to do because that's boring. And take that or don't. But <clears throat> we did it. We're happy with it. They're great shows. Watch them or don't. It's your choice. You know, uh, eventually there'll be a mandate to watch him. So choose to do it now is my, is my uh, suggestion to you. I, I'm going to get a lot of them out of the way that way. And I'm going to, I'm going to offer up my email at the end of this. And if mm. you had, if you do have a problem with it, please reach out to me directly. And I will come to your house provided you're within a 100 to 120 mile radius and explain our thinking behind this, because I don't want you <laughs> I don't want you to be unhappy with our TV show. Like at the end of the day, I want you to walk away from our TV show satisfied. Well, what that you got exactly what that we did exactly what you would want to do, and that it and that you're happy. Yeah, That's Dave right. will do that. Dave will do that for you. Dave. That's right. I won't rest Probably. until everyone tells me to go away. Yes, but. <laughs> You know, that's awesome. Billy, actually. Billy Wayne Davis, a uh, therapist, has been doing some Twitter therapy with some folks and talking them through their anger and their denial and their confusion. And it's tur- turned a couple people around. They, if they get me on a loving day, I will take him on quite a ride. <laughs> I will. Um, <laughs> what if they don't get you on a loving day? I, it's, I, my wife will take Twitter away because she. She values our our house and home and stuff because she knows that I'm <laughs> I'm you know I may live in Los Angeles but my heart is still in Appalachia so there's certain things where she's like you don't need to say that I'm like I I have to say that I think <laughs> <laughs> sitting on a powder keg over there <laughs> that's yes she's she's so much smarter than me thank God oh I'm supposed to start a st- I am. No, I'd agree. I'm all, all right. Hey, listen, you don't have to always start everything with, I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can do it because you want to. I, I I'm, thrill, I'm very, thrilled. I I'm thrilled to. It's I'm right excited on brand. to segue. <laughs> That's a good, those are good adjectives. I just feel like the tone I'm getting is like, I need to do this. I want to hear it because we're not no. seeing that. And we I want to get know. to have the big red words that are to be read, read immediately. <laughs> it's, it's fun. I'm having fun. This is more thrilling than I thought it would be. I'll be honest. But because your ears flare out. It's. <laughs> Your ears, your the clapping statue. ears are your one tell when you're not having a good time. Oh my God. Do you, <laughs> the, do you have COVID? That's like the one thing. That's the thing, the, the ears. They're, oh, they're just going to roll. Oh, that there's early. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we want to talk about the uh, monument. Is that what you're supposed to do? That is actually. <laughs> <clears throat> that thing is actually 400 feet tall. It, it's hard to tell from this mm-hmm. photo. 
Uh, and that is in New York Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim extremists have already threatened to take it down. <clears throat> so you guys going to talk about it? Or are we going to um, hear a video about it? Or what's that? <clears throat> Who wants to say something about that? Mary, you're that doing a great my job. You are doing <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in mom mode. All right, we're going to say Early's got the nice. Each one of those early butt cheeks weighs more than a Volkswagen Jetta. <laughs> I think we thought, I think we thought, you know, with some of the Confederate statues coming down and how like Jim Crow and how cheap they were, we thought it would be funny to erect a monument to uh, an animated TV show that's been on the air for 15 years <laughs> <laughs> and see how long. Until people are like, you can't, you can't change history. <laughs> and when someone finally says, "Listen, this is a, this is problematic," you know, we're we're uh, we're we're yes. trying to build low income housing pods for this area, and we have to remove this stupid sculpture for a, a squid statue from the twenty first century. Yes, it's so, a it's a monument to modern late night cable obscure talking squid television programs of the past 15 years. There it is. Guys, yeah. And now yeah. it's covered with uh, 5,000 pieces of chewing gum. <laughs> art. Youth inspired art. And art creates more art. And I think that's what something's all about. Like did we say statue. that it's in um, LJ, Georgia? Or did, was there a sign? It on is. The it's in, it's in LJ. You can check you your Twitter. You guys watch think... Squid Billies on oh. Sunday at midnight at Adult Swim. It's the final season. I'm not supposed to do this. I'm thrilled to say this. And it, oh. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank I you love guys. you so much. It's been a pleasure to be a part of it, guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Woo. Bye. Everybody. Thank y'all.